Hello and welcome to a completely different video from the videos I've been doing before. I want to talk about the Bose Quiet Comfort 35. Uh, I think it's the second. It's called Siri Series Two or something like that. It's the second edition. It's not a review. It's not something like that. It's just I want to put some information out there that I could not find anywhere. Um, I bought this not for the purpose of using the noise cancellation, just because I wanted to have a decent Bluetooth headset. The reason being that um, the wired ones um, I've been using before, I, I always broke the wire by uh, walking around and having my phone in my pocket, so um, bending the, the wire made it break um, and after like breaking two or three wires in in, uh, in half a year I thought yeah it's it's time um, to switch to Bluetooth so rather had my goal is not to um, have active noise cancelling but it is a feature that sometimes comes in handy but for my primary use case watching uh, uh, listening to music and podcasts while walking around the city um, be before the pandemic walking to walking to my workplace and stuff like that um, for that case I do not want to use noise cancelling because I want to hear uh, what's going on around me and hear if a car is coming or if somebody is yelling at me or something like that. So right out, out of the bat there there was a big problem for me because when you get these and you turn them on for the first time there's there's only one button this one here to change the noise cancellation setting and if you press it it just tells you please install our smartphone app and then you can change what this button does. So what can you change it to? There's there's three possible settings. There's use the button for changing the noise cancellation level, use the button for Amazon Alexa, and use the button for Google Assistant or something like that, some kind of Google or voice assistant stuff. So two out of these three possible functionalities for this button are only working if you have actually connected your headphone to your app. So wouldn't it be nice to just assign the one thing that you can actually do without connecting it to a smartphone uh, by default? And there's the next problem. If you, if you start this up, it will always have noise cancellation on full. So it doesn't remember what you what you have set it to before you turn it off so every time i turn it on i i already have this like ritual where i i turn it on and immediately once i heard the the feedback that it's turned on i press this button twice to set it back to um to noise cancellation turned off and it's it's really annoying but i'm i'm just doing it automatically right now because i'm i'm used to it uh, so then a, a friend of mine uh, was offering that I could try his uh, Sony, some of the Sony WH noise cancellation brands um, because he was hearing of my complaints about this headphone. It turns out with the Sony headphone it's even worse because the button that you can see here, the, the noise cancellation change button. For Sony, it's really small. It's, it's hard to, to feel without, uh, you, you need to search around with your fingers to find it. And when you press it, you cannot just press it twice to, to skip one setting, go from high to, to off in, in, in one go with pressing it twice. You need to press it wait for it to tell you that, that that it has registered the change and then you need to press it again. So even the workaround of turning it on and pressing it twice doesn't work because pressing it twice doesn't do anything different from pressing it once. So there it the Sony 
one is even worse and it also does not remember the setting um, that you used last time so it always starts with full active noise cancel uh, cancellation every time you start it and the Sony one has even a a, a bigger problem or another big problem let's say uh, the only way to change the um, the 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 volume level on the other one is to to they, they I mean on the Bose um, you you have these buttons it's just a regular volume button you can press up and down but on the Sony one you have to swipe on on your uh, earphone which is really annoying because let's say your song switches to a song that is much too loud and what what I would do with this one is let's see I'm not sure why I was wearing the biodynamic headphones right now I don't need it I'm not listening to anything um, so what I do is I just press the button until it's not as loud anymore and my ears aren't dying but one, uh, if you're using the Sony headphone you have to do this and wait for every single step of volume control to to register meaning that if a loud noise is playing you have to do this otherwise your your ears will die essentially because you cannot adjust the volume fast enough it's it's really horrible I'm not sure why if you pay like hundreds of, of uh, euros for a for a I mean more or less premium it's it's not it's not out there with the the premium premium stuff but like the mid-level premium product you're paying hundreds of euros for that and the UX is completely broken I'm not I'm, I'm not sure why that is and also it seems like nobody else has any problem with that nobody else is complaining uh, all the friends I know that that have headphones like that are also not complaining about that maybe maybe my use case is just weird or something like that maybe I'm different than other people but I haven't found anywhere online where anyone was mentioning any of these problems and it's th that's why I'm making this video be because I wanted this to get out there not sure if, if you're the correct audience for that but it's just a way to make my rant essentially yeah that's all that I wanted to talk about Thanks for listening.